What is up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about price action today, and I'm going to be showing you that even though my daily, uh, my higher time frame bias was wrong, um, as you can see, we are very bearish today, and my bias was actually to be long today, yet I still went two for two, I still took two trades, and I was profitable. Um, I called them out in my Discord, which I trade every single day for completely free i trade completely free in the discord so if you do want to join the discord um then just click the link in the description and you can watch me trade um for free so yeah uh let's jump straight into it i also have a um a mentorship that i trade and i teach my inversion fair value gap model so if you're interested in that and you want to become pro profitable just click the first link in the description but let's jump straight into it. So my bias today was bullish and the reason for that is because we had two nice equal highs right there. So that was my bias going into um, this price action. Now I did actually just record this video already but my mic was not on uh, so I'm actually doing it all again now. So um, right so let's go to the 930 candles. As you can see the 930 open we um, make this bullish fair value gap. Now, you might be wondering, if we inverse this bullish fair value gap right here, would I take a short position off of it? Um, if you are unfamiliar with the model that I trade, sorry, then it is just the inversion fair value gap model. So I take trades off of um, inversion fair value gaps. So if a bullish fair value gap is inversed, I'll take a short, or if it's bearish, I've a gap, I'll take a long. Obviously, there is a bit more to it, but that is just the overall basis of the strategy. So, if you play at the price action, as you can see, this bullish five a gap is inversed. So, most of you are probably like, oh, why didn't you take a short position here, targeting these lows? And the simple answer is because my bias was bullish. So, because my bias was bullish, I was not interested in taking any longs, I mean, any shorts. Uh, I was only prepared to take uh, lungs in this situation. So, as you can see, we have this one minute bearish fair value gap, um, which I'll mark out red. So, I said to the Discord, if this fair value gap is inversed, then I will take a lung and my first target will be here, where I take off most of my position, and then my second target would be this equal highs that I've been talking about earlier. And also, as well as this buy side liquidity that is sitting here. Uh, let me just label this out for you. So as well as this buy side liquidity, we also have equal highs on the one minute that are sitting right here as well. So we have a lot of reasons to be bullish um, short term. So if we play at the price action, as you can see, we inverse this fair value gap. So I enter right here. Uh, my first target is here, as I said, and actually as well as the one minute here, you could have also entered off of a two minute fair value gap right here. So there are multiple entries that you could have got on this trade using my strategy. Um, so we entered here because our bias was bullish. We inverse this fair value gap and then we play at the price action. As you can see, we take our first take profit, then... Um, so we take off most of our position there. We put our take profit all the way up here and then our stop loss goes to break even and as you can see Price then ends up reversing um, But nonetheless we take very nice profits there and then we move on to the rest of the day Well, actually as you can see the price is very bearish right now and as I showed you just even though this price is very bearish um, obviously, I didn't know at the time because I'm trading live in the Discord. My bias was bullish because of these equal highs. Um, so because of those equal highs, I'm actually still looking for lungs here. I'm not interested in any shorts. And another reason I'm also only looking for lungs here is also because we have some low resistance liquidity. So overall, I'm saying to the Discord right now, we have made, oh, we have made, oh, I've just went off it. Let's go back to it. So overall, right now, we are in this position. I'm saying to the Discord, okay, we have, we just keep making new lows. We're creating some low resistance liquidity. Um, our bias is still 
um, lung right now. So what do I do? I see that we have this two minute bearish 5 a gap. I check the other time frames. I see that we don't really have any of the 5 value gaps. Um, the two minute 5 value gap is the main 5 value gap to be looking at right now. So I say to my Discord, okay, if this two minute is inverse, um, I'll take a lung and where will my targets be? My first, not target, but what could potentially be a target would be right here. But where I took my profits was right here. And the reason for that is, if we go to the five minute, we have a five minute bearish fair value gap. Now you might be wondering, what is the point now? Why you mentioned this five minute fair value gap? Now the reason for that is, because we are so bearish right now, uh, we're just moving down. I said as soon as we hit this 5 minute bearish 5 value gap, we one move our stop loss to break even because price, if price is going to reverse, it's going to reverse from around this point. And that is just because we have this 5 minute 5 value gap. Now, if we inverse this 5 minute 5 value gap, I would have want price to go keep going up. But as you can see, if we go to the 1 minute, uh, I mean the 2 minute, sorry, we play the price action out we get the two minute inverse. So this is where I enter. I enter right here. My stop loss goes to the bottom of the candle here. Uh, if we get a candle close, then that would be my stop loss. Now my take profit is right there. And we play at the price action. As you can see, we just tapped my take profit. So, excuse me. So I take 100% of my profit right there. Um, I don't leave any runners or anything. I take 100% of my profit there. Uh, just because we're in a five minute bearish fair value gap and I don't want to gamble to see if we uh, break the fair value gap or not and as you can see then the price ends up reversing so that was literally a perfect um, fair value gap so what I actually want to show you guys is this is my recording from my live trading session so as you can see this is the exactly what I just showed you but on a live time frame because obviously this will be trading live in the discord um, so if we play the price action, I've marked that two minute fair value gap out in red. And then above we have that five minute fair value gap. And as you can see, we inverse the fair value gap right there. So that is where I enter into the position. My, um, I haven't done my take profit yet, but as you can see, I moved my stop loss to break even as soon as we tap into this uh, five minute bearish fair value gap. Because as I said, if we were going to inverse uh, and come back down, we would do it right from here. Um, then as you can see, we I mark out this buy side liquidity because I want that to be the target because it is at the top of this five minute fair value gap as well. Um, so it's just an overall really good target. Then we come up, take the buy side liquidity, and then I take my profits right there. Um, so yeah, hopefully I show my... So yeah. Um, that is the trades that I took and as you can see if we go to the live um, live trading right now as you can see we are clearly clearly bearish but even though we are bearish I've still managed to take a lot of profit um, just by using my strategy and using good risk management moving my stop loss to break even and taking profits so yeah hope this video helped make sure you check out the links in the description my mentorship and my live trade and discord.